He should not have to deal with this at 10 years old. And new at five, a teacher charged for threatening a 10-year-old student. Police say it was all caught on camera, too. Thanks for being with us here at five. I'm Stephanie Simone. Tonight, the boy's mother is speaking exclusively to Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Furin. Dylan joins us live in Mansfield with the bizarre details in this case. Dylan. Well, Stephanie, Kenneth Johnson turned himself into police last week. He's a music teacher here at Mansfield Middle School. And, of course, the young boy's mother is very upset about the whole thing. He's a paid professional. He's supposed to be a role model, and he's practicing the wrong behavior. Tiffany Taylor is talking about music teacher Kenneth Johnson, seen here in his police mugshot snapped last week, looking unemotional. It's not okay. School is a safe, respected, no violent zone. Tiffany, speaking only to Channel 3 tonight, is upset because Johnson allegedly threatened her 10 year old son. Police say it happened on a parked school bus outside Mansfield Middle School. The boy told police he brought a stick that looks similar to this onto the school bus. Apparently, it was for a school project. The bus driver noticed the stick and told the boy to get rid of it. The boy told police he refused. That's when the bus driver brought Johnson onto the bus. He spoke to the boy and said, if you talk back again, I'll rip your face off. Tiffany's son told troopers Johnson sounded aggressive and controlling, adding, I felt terrified when he said that to me. I didn't know if he was actually going to do it. Police say there's video confirming Johnson told the boy, if you talk back again, I'll rip your face off. I think you just feel scared. School's supposed to be a safe, you know, environment, respected. That's what they preach. No violence, you know. We don't threaten. We don't disrespect others. And this teacher did everything but that. Johnson was put on administrative leave, but after watching the video, police charged him with disorderly conduct and threatening. He was released on a $10,000 bond. But it sparks the question, what's the proper punishment? Tiffany thinks the charges are justified, saying her son is being bullied and is in counseling because of this. She's considering even pulling him out of school, suing the district, looking for an attorney. The school still had this teacher working a week and a half later after the incident took place, after they all watched the video. Now, we reached out to Johnson today, but did not hear back. He'll be back in court, Stephanie, on January 8th in Rockville. The school district also not commenting tonight on personnel matters. Live in Mansfield, I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Dylan, thank you.